NASA and scientists across the globe have been developing high-tech, close-to-perfection gadgets and equipment to fly deep into space and hunt for the unknown for decades. But NASA's latest project seems to be quite unmatched compared to their previous ones. It is the James Webb Telescope. This telescope is equipped with cutting-edge equipment that is light years ahead of its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA has even added a hidden weapon to the telescope, which they claim will aid in the detection of alien life in our cosmos. The telescope is finally racing across the cosmos after years of delays and adjustments, ready to watch and collect data in ways never seen before. So what is NASA's hidden weapon aboard the James Webb Space Telescope? What makes it so unique and what makes them so confident that we will finally find proof of alien life? Hello space enthusiasts, welcome back to another fascinating video. As you can see, today we are going to talk about NASA's brand new historic James Webb Telescope and how it will detect life in the universe. This one is going to be exciting and informative as well, so stick around till the end. So without any further ado, let's begin. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is an international partnership between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA, to build a space telescope. It will take place of NASA's flagship astrophysics mission, the Hubble Space Telescope. James Webb was first launched on the VA-256 Ariane flight on the 25th December last year. It will enable a broad range of investigations across the fields of astronomy and cosmology, including observations up to Redshift Z20 of some of the universe's oldest, most distant events and objects such as the formation of the first galaxies and detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets, and will provide improved infrared resolution and sensitivity over Hubble, viewing objects up to 100 times fainter. On December 25, 2002, an Ariane 5 launch vehicle launched the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, from Kourou, French Guiana, and it was released from the upper stage 27 minutes later. The intricacy of the telescope and the high-stakes nature of the launch were noted by the media and scientists and engineers. It will take several weeks to cool to its operational temperature, after which it will go through final testing and calibration procedures for about five months before beginning its research program. Unlike Hubble and other ground-based telescopes, the James Webb Space Telescope will only gather infrared radiation and will not study the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. What is the reason for this? It is, in reality, attributable to several circumstances. For starters, Infrared is the optimum wavelength for seeing through dust. Which is important in the development of dusty environments in stars and planets, the James Webb Space Telescope should be a great resource if you want to know where and how different solar systems are generated. That telescope will be on the lookout for the galaxy's dustiest regions, with plans to explore them thoroughly. Furthermore, trapping infrared radiation is the most effective approach to examine planet atmospheres that contain substances which could indicate whether they are capable of supporting life. Spectroscopy is an important tool for investigating the formation of possible planets in our galaxy. While the major goal of James Webb's mission is to observe the stars in our galaxy, scientists also want to learn more about the very early universe in the years following the Big Bang, which occurred 13 billion years ago. This needs a focus on extremely distant galaxies. James Webb will examine images of stars and planets that have traveled millions of years through space using high-tech cameras and mirrors. It will essentially be looking back in time, since the image it is seeing right now took so long to reach us that it is sort of seeing a shot from the past. This will provide a wealth of information regarding the genesis of the cosmos and the planets inside it. So how does James Webb go about doing all of this? Well, it all boils down to what NASA thinks to be their secret weapon as well as massive mirrors that are difficult to grasp. The mirrors on the James Webb Telescope is unlike anything you've ever seen, and one that can take us to the farthest regions of the universe. The Hubble and Webb Telescopes are both the Casa Grain reflective telescopes, which collect light with the main mirror and focus it on a secondary mirror, which then focuses the light on sensors to form an image. This isn't the kind of bathroom mirror you'd find. This is because a larger main mirror is required for a more powerful telescope. The main mirror on the James Webb is 21 feet in diameter compared to 7 feet on Hubble. One of the reasons astronomers are ecstatic about it is because of this. However, 21 feet is too large to fit inside a rocket fairing or nose cone, resulting in a bulky launch configuration. The main mirror on the Webb is made up of 18 smaller sections, each of which can be adjusted separately and is divided into two folding wings and a central portion. With all of these components, it's easy to see why scientists are concerned about the Webb Telescope unfolding in space on its own. 
This was all part of the team's 30 Days of Terror campaign. That's because if one item goes wrong, Capote is responsible for the entire endeavor. Neither the James Webb Telescope nor the Hubble Space Telescope are remaining near to Earth. It's passing through a region of space known as Langrangian Point 2 or L2, roughly a million miles from Earth. It's a point in space where the Earth's and Sun's gravitational fields cancel out, allowing Webb to maintain Earth at its back as the telescope orbits our star. To put it another way, the Webb isn't built to be repaired or maintained. Even if it's from afar, it's classified as a non-serviceable mission by NASA, which means it'll run entirely on its own, far from Earth's reach. If all goes according to plan, the Webb telescope will arrive unharmed, allowing scientists on Earth to finally breathe a sigh of relief. However, following the long journey, a new chapter in the Webb project begins with the optical telescope element commissioning sequence. Now scientists must fine-tune the 18 individual mirror segments using a distant star as a point source of light. To ensure that all images are sharp, this operation will take roughly 10 days to accomplish. After that, the multi-instrument alignment phase will begin, which will take another week of precisely calibrating each mirror section to ensure that all web instruments are focused. But the story does not end there. The staff will spend weeks examining each piece of equipment to ensure that it is in good working order. The correct alignment of the telescope mirrors, as well as the focusing and certification of all the equipment, will take about six months. Scientific observations will not begin until at least July 2022. In the best case scenario, that is nothing compared to the squad behind James Webb. They've been waiting for this for decades. The James Webb Telescope's journey began over 40 years ago, when the Hubble Telescope was still new and scientists were considering its successor and what it would be. A committee of scientists agreed that the science underlying what would become the James Webb Telescope was the greatest approach to capture a clear and detailed image of the galaxy around us. With its folding mirrors and large sunshade, that team was able to produce this state-of-the-art telescope through rigorous planning, testing and development. There are four main goals associated with the James Webb Space Telescope, which are to look for light from the universe's initial stars and galaxies that emerged after the Big Bang, to investigate the genesis and evolution of galaxies, to comprehend the genesis of stars and planets, to research planetary systems and life's beginnings, JWST could be used to study the diminishing light of KIC 846-2852, a star found in 2015 that has certain unusual light curve qualities. JWST will be sensitive to wavelengths ranging from 0 0.6 to 28 meters, which is equivalent to orange light and deep infrared radiation at 100 kelvins or 173 degrees respectively. JWST will orbit the Sun near the Sun-Earth system's second Langrange point, or L2. This is nearly four times farther from the Sun than the Earth's orbit, and 1,500,000 kilometers farther from the Moon's orbit. Staying close to Earth provides for substantially faster data rates for a given antenna size. They were all aware that there were significant risks involved, but nothing worthwhile comes easily. Yes, there is the possibility that something will go wrong. However, if NASA is successful in finding extraterrestrial life, it will be a life-changing event. That's all we got for the day. So, what do you think now? Would this magnificent telescope finally be able to discover any new life form in the gigantic universe, or even this telescope would not be enough for that? Even if it finds anything, after how long and where? There are many questions. Do you have any thoughts? Let us know in the comments section. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more mind-blowing space content, and click the notification bell too. It will keep you posted on all of our new updates. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.